so we've got the attorneys right now, the defense attorneys for uh, Alec Murdoch, and they are talking. Let's go ahead and let's listen into that. Influence these jurors that she made these statements. With the facts resolved, the only issue is what is the law. And as Judge Toll said, that is unsettled. This is not, uh, you know, it's going to go through the appellate courts, and we feel strongly that we'll win. Thank you all. Wait, wait, one more question. How important is it to you all to get a different standard for the burden of proof when you appeal this? Do you think you can win under the, the burden of proof that she set, or do you think you need go ahead. the burden of proof that you all have? Well, we, we feel confident that the burden of proof is... I mean, that, that we get a presumption based on her factual findings here. And and so if, if we win that, that legal standard, I mean, on this record, we get a new trial. Um, if we lose that legal standard in our state courts, then we probably don't get a new trial. But we go to federal court where there is no dispute in the Fourth Circuit where we would end up, or what the standard is, and it is a standard of presumption. So it's either going to be decided, in my view, in our favor, in our appellate courts or four or five years down the road in the federal courts, unless there's a change of federal law. Then would there be a different outcome if you get another trial? <laughs> um, yes, there would be. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm not going to tell you why. Absolutely, yes. But, but does it discourage you that Justice Tull at the end said she agreed with Judge Newman about the, the facts and the verdict and how it was, you know, that, that it was a compelling case and all of that? No. <laughs> no. She, no. She's not going to say, oh, I disagree with Judge Newman. The facts were very thin. No, she's not. Yeah, gonna there's an innocent man here who's wrongly right. convicted. And we I, didn't but, expect her to say that. So. But the, the appeals court could say it's harmless error, is my point. No. They, they can't. No, no, no. They can't. This issue is not harmless error. Right. Cannot be. I've asked about this before. You all have said that you're, invest you know, you've said that you're investigating who might have actually committed these murders. Yes. We have developed some information. We want to get this behind us, and we'll be pursuing that uh, in the near future. About who committed the murder? Who really did it? Does, do you believe Alec Murdoch has information? Because his voice is on the kettle video. Do you think he has information about who did it? Well, if he did, we couldn't tell you. That's called attorney client privilege. I, know, I, do you think? I can't think <laughs> about what my client could have told me that would be attorney client privilege. These rules are so pesky. You have to give me credit for. Uh, you get credit. Yeah. How did okay. Alec react, how did Alec react to Thank you. Pardon me? How did Alec react to that? Fine. All right, so you've been listening in to uh, defense attorneys um, Jim Griffin and Dick Harputley in there for Alec Murdoch saying, of course, they're disappointed in the judge's ruling in this situation. So what's next? Is this the end of the road, or do they still have another shot at getting a new trial for Alec Murdoch? It's the end of the road from an evidentiary standpoint. We won't have any uh, more hearings in Colleton County or Columbia in front of a circuit court judge. Everything will now be handled by our appeals uh, process, the Court of Appeals. I expect them to not only file this appeal relatively soon uh, with our Court of Appeals, but also, as you may have heard them reference there, maybe look into some constitutional violations in the federal court. Uh, there's an appellate uh, system that protects defendants under Sixth Amendment right, so to speak. This may be the last we've heard of it at the state level from a standpoint of circuit court. Okay. But the defense will have many, many more motions to file as they work through the appeals process. All right. Attorney Mark Pepper joining us now as we um, review the information today. Judge Jean Justice Toll ruled that Alec Murdoch does not deserve a new trial based on the information that was presented by his defense team.